Little Steps to a Bigger World. Welcome to Tippy Toes Nook. Stalephant by James Foley. Space Command, commanding our future Hall of the Hero. One ordinary Monday at 9 a.m. precisely, Stella walked into Space Command. Hello, she said. I'd like to become an astronaut. The man stopped clacking on his keyboard and looked up. <laughs> but you're an elephant, said the man. I am, said Stella, holding out her application. But we've never had an elephant astronaut before, said the man. I know, said Stella. I would be the first. I'm sorry, said the man. But I don't think we can let an elephant be an astronaut. Imagine what would happen. We'd have all sorts of animals applying for approval. But you have sent some animals to space, said Stella. The man nodded. Then why not an elephant? asked Stella. I'm sorry, said the man, but the other animals were smaller. We don't make spacesuits in your size or shape. Unless you can find a spacesuit to fit you, I can't approve your application. So Stella measured and stitched and tinkered until finally it was ready. Now, can I be an astronaut? asked Stella. I'm sorry, said the man, but you'd need to complete basic training and uh, we're just not set up to train elephants. You're too big, you'd break all our equipment. Unless you can find training somewhere else, I, I can't approve your application. So Stella found teachers and she studied and strengthened and practiced and prepared until finally she was ready. Now, can I be an astronaut? asked Stella. I'm sorry, said the man, but our rockets aren't built to lift elephants. You're too heavy. Besides, you wouldn't even fit through the door. Unless you can find another rocket, I can't approve your application. So Stella sketched and tested and assembled until finally it was ready. Now, can I be an astronaut? asked Stella. I'm sorry, said the man, but you need a crew. And unfortunately, none of our astronauts want to fly with an elephant. They say it's bad luck. They say it's too dangerous. They say something's bound to go wrong. Unless you can find a crew, I can't approve your application. So Stella gathered her friends and together they studied and strengthened and practiced and prepared until finally they were all ready. I have a crew, said Stella. Now, can we be astronauts? The man didn't know what to do. Well, um, he said, uh, I'll get my manager. The man's manager didn't know what to do. So he went and got his manager. The man's manager's manager didn't know either. So he went and got his manager. On and on this went until they ran out of managers. So they asked the big boss of Space Command. The big boss and all the managers sat at a long table to have a long talk about the elephant in the room. Why won't they approve my application? thought Stella. I've trained for this. I have a suit, a rocket and a crew. They have to let me be an astronaut. They have to. Then Stella realized that actually they didn't have to. She didn't need their approval. She had everything she needed already. We are Joe for launch. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. Ignition. We have lift off. Stella 
Elephant. Aerospace Hall of Astronauts. Now hiring. All welcome. A true history of animals in space. While no elephants have become astronauts in real life, yet all these amazing animals have. Hey kids, here's a part where you can pause screen and look at all the amazing animals that have gone to space. Enjoy! Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.